Probably the most common high-risk factor for high-risk pregnancies is what we call advanced maternal age, or AMA for short. And advanced maternal age means anybody over 35. Now, I know if you're 35, you're still a baby. In my book, you're very young. Uh, but from an obstetrical point of view, that's considered advanced maternal age. So let me explain, first of all, where the 35 uh, cutoff comes from. So it certainly doesn't mean that when you're 34, you have very low risk. And when you're 35, all of a sudden, oh my God, do you really want to have a baby? There's actually a very slow, gradual increase in risk as you age. And that it's not exponential. It's a linear increase, which means it gradually goes up with each age. At 35, your risk of having a baby with a genetic abnormality such as Down syndrome is 1 in 190 births. So 190 women that are age 35 will have, out of 190, one of them will have an abnormal baby, for instance, with Down syndrome. The risk of amniocentesis, which is a test that we use to diagnose Down syndrome, is 1 in 200. So if we do 200 amniocentesis on people, one of those women are going to miscarry. And so at 35, it's the first time where the risk of a problem is actually greater than the risk of the test. And that's why 35 gets chosen as the sort of magic number or advanced maternal age. The truth is, if you have twins, you've, that 1 in 190 is actually at 33. So your advanced maternal age at 33 if you have twins. But don't worry about that for right now. But just to give you an idea, that this, uh, it's really a statistical model, and that's where it comes from. Now, each year you get older, you have a little bit higher risk, but still, you don't even have a 1% risk of a baby with an abnormal problem until you're about 37 or 38 years old. Um, so you can see it's just a slow, gentle rise. As you get older, your risks of other problems also increase. So um, as you get older, you have a much higher chance of delaying hypertension with pregnancy or diabetes with pregnancy or really some other issues. There's also some nonspecific things, and it just seems that the healing process of the body, the recuperative process of the body, decreases with age. Um, I can tell you that one of the things I've noticed since I've turned 40, and I'm 48 at the shooting of this video, is that when I get a little scratch on my hand, it takes a lot longer to heal than it used to when I was 20. And these are the kind of things that we notice as we age. And those things certainly can transfer to pregnancy. And so we find that older women, the placentas, tend to sort of poop out a little more quickly, or they age more quickly. And so you don't get as much uh, good blood flow towards the end of the pregnancy for some women that are older. So all of these things can increase the risk of pregnancy in subtle ways that are hard to really quantify, but it's something that we keep an eye on. So for instance, somebody who's 43, we may be a little bit more careful in doing monitoring for fetal well-being towards the end of pregnancy than we would in someone who's, say, 23. So those are issues with advanced maternal age as you age, and it certainly can put you at an increased risk um, of pregnancy complications. However, even in the 40s, the overwhelming majority of women at that age have normal, uncomplicated pregnancies.